Good evening, Tightliners, and welcome back to the channel. On a beach tonight, yeah, toe water down and high, sand under my feet. Um, surf's on, like you might have seen in the uh, intro. And uh, yeah, looking for bass and small eyed rays. Two rods out with one's a drop down panel with Avenger two o hooks with a circle on the top, and then I've got a um, up and over again with Avenger hooks. Then I've got another rod out that I've got a XTLS wide mouth um, hooks on a loop rig with ragworm on the top bait and sand deal on the bottom bait. So I got sand deal on the other two going all out for a ray. Bait's been in now for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. It may be worth trying to bring them in in a minute just to see if there's any crab activity. They've both got double sand deal on the bigger baits and a single sand deal on the other one. Fishing on the ebb on a beach that I have never fished before, which will remain nameless because I've been asked to do so. Anyway, I saw a snarupa, Vela Arbor, with Oichindo. Well, guys, I've just seen a little rattle there now. Um, on the big bait. That was a double sand deal. And look at that, guys. A tiny whiting. Can't believe it. I suppose, in one way, there's a blank saved. Um, but it's not what I want. Anyway, I'll try and get this back now. Get another bait out. <laughs> Well, guys, on the uh, scratching rig, a little flounder. On the ragworm bait. Yeah, so uh, first cast on two out of three rods brought in uh, fish. I brought the other one in now, the, the other sandhill baits hadn't been touched. So uh, I just wrapped another one onto it and sent it back out. I'll get this unhooked. These are the XT, whatever I said they were earlier. Perfectly hooked. Not deep. My do it is a 3 0 hook. There we go. Out it goes. Let's get this little fella back. <laughs> no, I'm not a dig. Right guys, so, first cast, like I said, on two of the three rods that brought me some fish. Not exactly the species I was after, but uh, welcome nonetheless. If there's whiting there, there is a chance there might be some feeding on them. Um, anyway. I know there are some small lights around on uh, several beaches recently. Hoping that one can turn up for me today. Don't forget, guys, the merch is out. I will put a link again in the description how to go about buying one, buying some hoodie and beanie to start with, with some sun hats in the pipeline. Um, don't forget, guys, if you do like what you see and you've not already subscribed, please, please, please do so. Hit that subscribe button in the corner of the screen right now. Um, hit the thumbs up. Get the algorithms of YouTube going. Much appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. All the kind words I get during the uh, the comments. Um, I did have a comment or a question. I did say in the last one, if there was anything that you wanted to see, then let me know. Well. I had a request for a leader knot, so here it is. Right, Tightliners, this was a question from John Roberts asking 
how do I tie a leader? Well, I use something called the beamy twist. So what I got is I got my main line, 15 pound line. I make a double over like that in a loop, big loop. And then what I do then is I make lots of twists. Hang on, just lost it. <laughs> I make lots of twists in this line. Essentially what I'm doing here now is double strengthening this line. Twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. Quite a few times. So I've got, I don't know if the camera's picking up very well, just about <clears throat> twists like that. Then what I do is I put it on my foot or on my knee like this. It's on my knee. You can't see it very well there now. But it is. The line's on my knee. So what I'll do is if I stand here, so I put it on, put it on my knee there like that. Then I get the loose tag end. I pull that down until it gets tight, and let that line fall over the other one there like that, keeping the pressure on this one. Pinch where the lines join the loop. Get the tag end. Do a half hitch around one side of it, of the loop, a half hitch around the other side of the loop, and down, half hitch then over both, hey, what are you doing there? Half hitch over both, once, half hitch over both, twice, and let this come off my knee and twist around itself. So, now I've got this tag end here, I can get rid of that, like that. So I've got myself a coiled bit of line, which is now quite springy and ready to go. So I get a piece of leader and I double that over there as well. Now then I used to, one time, this is before, I used to put the leader up through the loop, double the leader across the double the leader there and fold the line the leader around the main line but I've recently discovered guys that doing it the opposite way is actually better so now I make a loop in my leader a loop in my leader and I take this bit and I put it up through there like that so I've got there I bring enough of it through and then what I do is I double it back on itself and I go around once, twice, three times, four times, five, one more, six, Pinch that end there so it doesn't unravel. And then what I do is I put that loop back up through the leader loop. There like that. And then I pull it tight. Wet it first. There like that. Then I pull back on the leader. And I pull this tag end here. And then I pull it nice and tight there again. So you've got quite a tidy little knot going on by there now. And then all you need to do next is just to trim off the tag ends. So that was that loop that went through before. 
Tak jest czym to w PW. And there you're left with your knot. Nice and stretchy. Uh, like that. That sits on your reel quite nicely. And when it's pulled, there's no loops in it like that. So there's your beamy twist. There's one that I use. Hope that answers your question, John. Copy the one and can do the job with you. The will you. Well, I hope that uh, answered the question there for the lead the knot. Uh, beamy twist or beamy knee twist. Um, I like it. it. Sits in the reel very nice and I don't, I've don't. had no problem with it. So, uh, yeah, hope that answered the question. Any other questions, guys, please feel free to ask and I'll try my best to answer them. Not a Guys, third fish of the session. Another pin waiting, this time on ragworm, on the bottom hook of the loop rig. There we go. Let's get this little fella back. It's quite amazing that you get to see a bite like that in the conditions in the surf. The tide's flying out. Low water is around about 2 o'clock in the morning, it's now 11. I um, don't know if I'm going to stay that long, we'll see. Let's hope that one of the target species turns up quite soon. No, I'm not it. Guys, another waiting. Biggest one of the session so far. Biggest one I've seen for a while, to be honest with you. It's not a bad one. One that I wouldn't mind catching in the compact. Anyway, let's get it unhooked and get it back. That was on the uh, 2.0 Limitless Avenger hook on sand deal bay, double sand deal. Anyway. The rain is on and off. Um, yeah. So when the rain happens, I'm putting the, the, the camera back in the box. Let's just hope that there is a ray out there quite soon now. No more no, Guys, it's coming up to midnight. Um, still, there was another three, three waiting and a flounder. Still keeping faith that there might be a ray in there. Still checking out those double sand deals. And worm baits on another one, on the scratching rig. Got to keep the faith. Yeah, so in six minutes time it'll be the 1st of May. If I get a bass then, it'll mean that I've had a bass every month so far. Hopefully there'll be quite a lot of good fish coming up now in May. Including starting looking to see if I can get one of those big toothy creatures. <laughs> that is the plan. Anyway, guys, let's get back to another ross. And another waiting. <laughs> like I said earlier, it's quite amazing that you actually see the bite. That's how ferocious these little things can be. Again, that was on the ragman bait. on a 3-0 wide mouth hook from Limitless Sky. Right, 
Let's get this little fella back. Just, just hope that there is that one decent fish before we leave. No more could be. Well guys, first of the target species achieved, a beautiful bass. And then on the bottom hook, awaiting. So that bass took blow lug. Beautifully hooked. Oh, just about. Look at that. That's going to come off. No, it's not going to come out. Oh, it's out now. What a beauty. Bass number 43 of the year. I'll give that a measure in a way now. Anyway, I'll do that. I'll get everything ready and I'll bring you back. Right, so it was 57 centimetres, £3.3. Yes, guys. <laughs> Targets achieved. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, I'll get this one dispatched because this one's coming home for dinner tomorrow. I don't take many. I've caught now, like I said, 43, and I might have taken about five of them by now. That's all. Anyway, guys. Looking all us and about to dick with. Yes, get in. They just had to be one, didn't they? In that surf, the way that was. Couldn't possibly go two sessions in the surf like that and not get one. Oh, I'm made up now. Obviously not the biggest fish ever, but I'm just so made up that the target species has been achieved. I saw sort of a therapy with Well, guys. Okay. Another double header of fish there. Another waiting on the top one. And another flounder on the bottom one. Not a record breaking one, but still another fish. This is turning out to be a pretty decent session, this. Right, can I get this one out without damaging it? I'll have to have a look at that. With the light on. Anyway, another flounder, second flounder of the session. Good stuff. Just had a good rattle and a slack liner, and I was in. Great stuff. Normal dig. Right, guys, another waiting on the up and over with double sand deal. Right, the plan is now is just to put one more double sand deal out there on this one. Um, I put a wad of lurkworm out on the other one. Um, these are going to be the last baits out now. It is now 10 past 2. So I think it's time to uh, call it a day. Follow the tide pretty much all the way out. See what happens now with these last baits. So sort of Beth, and all. Well guys, last cast fish on one of the rods, another waiting, so that's about, I don't know, eight waiting at least tonight. Thought they'd gone away. <laughs> they don't go away though, do they? Anyway, we'll try and get this fella back. Put that rig away. Put the first rod away. Tight on the flood now. So it's probably time to leave anyway. Not much a dig. Right guys, last cast fish also awaiting on the scratching rig. Slowly bringing this one to an end. Not a bad little session. But in all, no a dig. Well, and that's the end of the session. And the last cast fish on the other rod as well. A very, very small waiting. The bait is probably just as big as it. Anyway, I'm going to wind up this very quickly here now, guys. Not a bad session. I ended up with about 10 waiting, two flounders, and a really, really nice 57 centimeter bass. Bass number 53 of the year. If you like what you see, guys, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, 
hit the bell so you get further notifications and don't forget about the merchandise it looks really good guys it really does a um, lot of good comments come in about it so come on guys get your orders in you know you want to <laughs> only if you want to of course yeah um, I got plenty of them so uh, yeah it's now oh my god it's coming up to three o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna go home hopefully get out again maybe i don't know maybe tomorrow we'll see and uh anyway we'll see what happens so until the next session guys i'm gonna get all things packed up here now quickly until the next session keep your lines tight